So there's, I don't, I can't remember if we've ever talked about this before, but um, I try to avoid Reddit at all costs Smart. and going down the the Reddit, the Reddit, uh, the dark hole of Reddit. But there is apparently, the, and I've seen the the chains um, that Kevin Malone is a secret genius. Have you heard this before? Yes. So yeah. yes, yes. So the basis for the, and this gets into your point slightly, but the basis of this. And people pull evidence, like minute little glances to camera from early on. And like, he's a gambler, and how does he... And then he gets fired, and suddenly he owns a bar. Yeah. So that is an unaired storyline, how he has the bar. I'm going to fill you in on this. It's going to blow your mind. Okay. okay. Ready? So the idea is that once the documentary airs, Kevin Malone becomes the fan favorite of people watching. I have in my office at home, like my face as a cartoon and like Kevin rocks and all this stuff, right? So there became this movement of Kevin Malone being a fan favorite. And partly based on my own experience in the world, I can't go into a bar and not be offered a drink. Uh -huh. from Malta. I, they wanna have a drink with Kevin Malone. So the storyline is shot, but not aired that, uh, Kevin Malone goes into bars. Everybody wants to buy him a drink. There's a particular bar in Scranton, Pennsylvania that he goes in all the time. And he has accumulated such a credit at that bar <laughs> from people buying him drinks <laughs> that he uses that as leverage to own the bar. Uh, so that is a true written story that was shot. And the, the finale was like an hour and 45 minutes already. And they're like, all right, we have to cut that. That's it still incredible. Makes sense, but that's it. I really was wondering, like, how how did you end up owning that bar? You own Poor Richard's, the place, the watering hole everybody used to go. And I do kind of subscribe to the Kevin Malone is, I don't I don't think a secret genius. I think he is a genius. Well, I, the think, game, yeah. I think he's a savant because, yes, he was a terrible accountant. But he was also a great gambler at times when it came to like doing certain right. percentages with cards. You right. can't be dumb and be a great poker player. So was it just that, in your mind, Kevin Malone was that unengaged at work that he just didn't give a shit? In part, but also like there's a there's a there's the the whole phrase is idiot savant, right? So like here's the great here's the greatest. I didn't hear I didn't hear about this for years, right? I think the idea of this with Kevin started the basketball episode. I played basketball. Those were that was not edited. That was real live. That was actually one take two of me making, I don't know, 13, 15 <laughs> feet uh, footers, three free throw line extended. But so that there were like weird skills that he had. Yeah. He had the poker series bracelet. So here's the greatest insider writer's joke of all time. They chose the writers, didn't even tell me. They chose Scrantonicity, a police cover band, to be his band. And specifically chose him to be the lead singer and drummer yep. of this band. I I didn't know this. I'm not that. I am not a musical genius. But apparently, in the police, the there's the beat, but the singing occurs off of the beat from where the normal drum beat is. So you would have to be a musical savant to be able to play drums and sing at, at the same, same time. time. Yeah, because yes. singing, the vocals were based around Sting, who was playing the bass. That's, That's right. incredible. So it would be around, it would be something that he could sing easily, not what's his name, Copeland was playing on the drums. I had never thought about that. But well, it so you I understand it. it. I love it. I didn't even know... But yes, yeah, so he was he was also a musical savant. Okay. That's incredible. I mean, that's just a testament too to people, you know, being diehard fans of the show and loving the show so much that they then watch it again and watch it again until they find out some storyline that maybe is real. Right. That you're saying might be real. Right. But I they actually, perceive it. I think it's great that they've got. It's kind of it, it goes to show you what a well crafted show it was overall. That the writers were having so much fun that they were thinking about these little extra jokes that they could put in there. Oh yeah. It really adds to the fullness of the show and makes everything else like it, there's an entire world that they created. Yeah. For themselves. So